Hey everybody, good evening, and welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap for the evening of June 7th, 2017. I'm TJ, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the biggest stories happening in the world of Nintendo. Now, unless you were hanging out in the tall weeds yesterday, I'm sure you caught wind of the Pokemon Direct. In Nintendo's long-standing tradition of repackaging old content and reselling it to the same people over and over again, Nintendo's Pokemon Direct was dedicated to announcing three titles that you probably already own and are probably going to buy again. Because, let's face it, Pokemon is some low-hanging fruit. Pokemon Tournament was officially announced for the Nintendo Switch, and its full title is Pokémon Tournament DX, which is Nintendo's abbreviation for Deluxe. As was the case with the Deluxe port of Mario Kart 8, a few new characters have been added, the Pokémon from the arcade have been added, in addition to Decidueye, who will make his first appearance in this version of the game. The Nintendo Switch is really shaping up to be the ultimate Wii U port device, and Pokémon Tournament is just the latest in a string of Wii U ports. You'll be able to duke it out on September 22nd of this year. The 3DS also got some Poké love with the announcement of Pokémon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So much for reaching for the stars or looking for an eclipse. According to the Direct, the Ultra version of Sun and Moon has an alternate storyline and potentially even more Pokémon. How substantial the differences are, it's hard to say, but we won't have to wait long. The worldwide release of these titles is November 17th. And the final game announcement from the Direct is a virtual console release of Pokémon Gold and Silver. This dates all the way back to Pokémon's second generation, and in my personal opinion, set the gold standard for Pokémon games. And, well, silver standard. I guess too. Gold and Silver will be available on your Nintendo 3DS starting on September 22nd. Pretty sure most of you already have some version of all three games announced. Will you be double dipping or triple dipping in some cases? Nintendo's pretty sure you will be. And let's face it, they're probably right. But let us know in the comments section below. I want to emphasize this next story is pure speculation. It's completely a rumor based on questionable evidence. I personally hate indulging rumors. So let's just do a quick overview. The event in question is listed as Pokemon Go. It appears there was a festival performance permit requested from Chicago's Park District and the event would be set to take place at Grant Butler Field, which is Grant Park and Butler Field in Chicago, actually where I grew up. I live out here in LA right now, but as it happens, I will be in the Chicago area, the dates that this is allegedly scheduled to occur, which is between the dates of July 18th and the 23rd. So obviously no specific details are known, but there is a lot of speculation that it could be a legendary Pokemon event. We'll see if anything materializes, and be sure to stay tuned to Nintendo Wire as details develop. And if these rumors turn out to be true, and depending on how things shape up, maybe I can get myself over there and report live for those of you who won't be able to attend. In Zelda news, the official Legend of Zelda Facebook page just released a brand new Amiibo compatibility chart for Breath of the Wild. Not only does the chart give a rundown of what the current Legend of Zelda Amiibo unlock in the game, but it also shows off what the upcoming Legend of Zelda Amiibo unlock. All three new Zelda Amiibo hit stores on June 23rd, Majora's Mask Link is exclusive to Best Buy, Twilight Princess Link is exclusive to GameStop, and Skyward Sword Link is exclusive to Amazon. No word yet if these are timed exclusives, and supply is expected to be limited, so if you want that fierce deity costume, better be at Best Buy bright and early on June 23rd. And our final story of the night, Universal Studios Japan has just released a brand new trailer celebrating the upcoming Super Nintendo World theme park. According to the description, Super Nintendo World will be a unique structure consisting of two layers, an attraction where you can experience the world of Nintendo games, including Mario Kart, while featuring a magnificent area where restaurants and shops gather. Super Nintendo World officially opens in 2020 in Japan, coinciding with the Olympic ceremonies, and plans are already underway to bring Super Nintendo World to Universal Studios Florida and right here in Hollywood. I can tell you, me and the wife are already setting aside some savings right now so we can bring the family to Japan in 2020. It's gonna be so awesome. And that's a wrap for the Nintendo Wiretap for the evening of June 7th, 2017. Like, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. Be sure to tune in again tomorrow for a breakdown of the day's Nintendo news. For everyone here at Nintendo Wire, have a great night and thanks for playing.